Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. It's a beautiful Coburg morning here at the headquarters of Marathon Coach. I got my passport with me. That's because while you're watching this live, I will be in the airport uh, waiting to head on over to Prevo in Quebec, Canada. So this is a pre-recorded episode. We're going to be filming it. We're filming this right now on a Thursday before Monday. But I just kind of wanted to show you everything that's going on out here. A very busy production floor here at Marathon. Lots of custom builds, lots of coaches being built. You see a new shell all the way down there on the far left. That shell just got here. You see in the middle of the production floor, that coach is being audited. That is a new quad slide H3. That's coach 1306. That's a coach that we'll be showing you fairly soon, but it's gonna be really exciting to show you that one. Uh, lots of custom builds going on out here. You see, um, well, let's see, I see some electrical going on. I see some finishing on cabinetry. Uh, Dave Bash just pulled in coach 1301 into the showroom floor. That's an X3 double slide. And uh, there is so much going on down there on the production floor. Um, there's one other thing I wanna tell you about. Polson, if I, I'm gonna be up at the Polson RV Resort in Montana the uh, 21st for a couple of days. So at the end of the third weekend of July, I think I'll be there the 21st, 22nd and 23rd of July. I'm gonna be bringing a coach, a coach that you've never seen before. We will do a Marathon Mondays from the Polson RV Resort. So I'm excited about that. If you're in the area, if you're gonna be at Polson, make sure you stop by and say hello. Um, I'd love to meet you. I'd love to show you the latest from Marathon when I'm there. Uh, but looking out over the production floor, I really like this advantage point because it really shows just how busy uh, things are going out there. Everybody's doing so many different tasks and you see so many different coaches that are in different modes of production. Some are close to being completed and some are just starting uh, the um, installation process. I think we should run down here and I'm gonna show a bit, a bit just a, a little of the finer uh, things that are going on. Let's head on downstairs. Dave. What's going on? Hey. Did you lie? No, but we're recording for Monday's show. Oh, okay. Dave, come on over here. I wanna ask you a quick question. Everybody loves Dave on camera, so the uh, the co-host of Marathon Mondays with Mal. Uh, Dave, this is a pre-recorded episode that we're going to run this coming Monday uh, when a bunch of us are at uh, the airport on our way to Prevo. Okay. And I know that you and a bunch of the guys from the service department are going to head up there in, is it October? September. September. Um, so the experience of going up to Prevo, you've done it before? Mm -hmm. Uh, very important in the training, uh, important to know, you know, all the changes and that's what kind of keeps you well informed. Right. Good deal. On the new stuff from Playboy, well, yeah. Absolutely. It's good teaching experience. So what are you, what are you up to this week? Everyone wants to know what's <laughs> Dave doing? What are you, are you doing deliveries? Are you doing PDIs? What's I'm going on? I'm doing PDIs. I was going through Mr. Lawrence's coach, yep. double checking it. Uh, found a few things there, having it fixed and just got told to put a new coach in the display, so that's what I just finished doing. Beautiful. Getting it up and running and keeping busy. Good deal. Thanks, Dave. Sure. All right. No problem. Let's head on over this way. Any chance I get to have Dave on camera, you know I'm gonna do it. Let's, uh, you know what? There was some cabinetry over here, Armand. I wanna show off. Uh, I saw some cabinetry this morning, and I'm always a big fan of the fit and finish of our cabinetry, so, we're not gonna keep you too long this morning, but I wanted to head on down here. I see 1307 over here is being built. And I think these are parts of 1307. I'm wrong, these are 1306. Little dusty, but take a look at how, just how beautiful. Little dusty. Look at that, isn't that beautiful piece? You know, cabinetry is such a major, major part of a luxury custom build. 
it really adds the the it adds so many options for the customer color and sheens and feels you could have a glossy finish like this that's the back side of it but you could have a glossy finish like this you could have it with a satin finish you could have it with a textured non-satin finish or a flat finish um, but it adds so many different options for the customer to customize but also it adds structural integrity to the cabinetry it helps bind it together and let's face it the chassis was designed to go for decades and so the house build or the cabinetry should do the same thing it should mirror the chassis and that's why we build with the best products uh, the best materials uh, that are available on the market and we've done that for over 30 years since uh, this is a pre-recorded episode there are no rules so let's head on down this way This is coach 1306 over here, you guys. Those, um, those uh, cabinetry pieces are gonna be going in this coach. And this one is getting close to being completed. And this one is getting close to going into paint. There is a new shell right there. Double slide H3, that's coach 1316. Now that's 1316. And I want to tell you about 1318. 1318 is a quad slide H3 custom coach. Um, I am going to be profiling coach 1318 all the way through. So that's 1316. So in a couple of weeks, we're going to have that shell and we're going to start a series from day one to when the customers take delivery of their new coach following 1318 all the way through the process of paint, uh, installation build into the delivery so I'm really excited about coach 1318 you've seen it here before on Marathon Mondays uh, it's something that really shows you guys out there on YouTube Facebook if you're doing research and you want to see just how custom and just how detailed Marathon gets following a coach all the way through is really a good way where you can get a feel of what happens here this guy right here 1305 this is an H3 quad, very similar to what uh, 1318 is gonna be. However, 1318 is custom by some customers of mine. Um, this is a designer choice. I think, uh, yeah, this is an Alan Christensen coach. So we're gonna, get a, um, we're gonna get a look at this coach when they are finished with the audit. We're not gonna bother them today, but uh, we'll be excited to see what 1305, because it's a quad slide H3. Should we walk down this way? I'll tell you what, let's take a sneak peek at this. A marathon plumbing bay is a work of art. And because it's an audit, I want to point something out. So many eyes look at this. This is very important. The audit team is not the only ones that look at these coaches when they are in the two-week audit process. Your senior staff comes down and looks. Salesmen look. And they look and they want to see what's not correct. We already know what's correct, what's done right, what's done properly. But because we scrutinize our own work so, so highly, you see these dots in here? There's one there. Here's one here. I saw another one somewhere else. There's one right there. What that means is that someone needs to look at that from cabinetry to make sure it was done right because someone had a question about it. And that's an example of what Marathon does to make sure the coach is, is built properly. Those little, those little indicator stickers are throughout the coach wherever somebody on the audit team or someone from senior staff or someone who noticed something found something that might need to be addressed. But I love looking at our plumbing bays because they truly are beautiful. And the key of it is it should, be, it should not just be beautiful, it should be functional. 
and everybody knows that our plumbing, our electrical, our coaches, they're built right, they're engineered correctly. Let's go this way. Another part of the audit process is looking at the paint. The paint is the first thing that's done on a coach. It really allows the paint to cure here in the building. If there's anything that, was hap that happened while it was in production, it goes back to paint to be corrected. But in the audit process, as you can see, they fine tooth comb the paint to make sure that it's polished properly, it's ready for delivery. And like I said, this audit process, and there's the audit office over there, they have a whole team of guys that they really have um, the ability to go over the coach, scrutinize, make sure that all the processes are working, make sure that everything works together correctly, and aesthetically, uh, everything is as beautiful as it was intended. I love it. And I, speaking of loving, take a look at that paint job. I'll be excited when we can get those doors down and see the entire side of that coach uh, as it is in production right now. We can't, but uh, I'm, I'm going to like that. The grays, the black, and the white. That being said, everybody, I hope you have a good week. I'll be in Prevo this week uh, learning uh, some certain things about, um, well, the Prevo chassis from the H to the X. Uh, it's sales training up there for a, a bunch of us. There's a, a whole team of us uh, from Marathon going from all locations, from Florida, Texas, and we've got a large group coming from uh, the headquarters here in Coburg. So I'll be there. You can reach me by email, balw at marathoncoach.com. But like I said, starting on Sunday the 21st, I believe it's the 21st, the third Sunday of this month, I'll be up at uh, Polson RV Resort stop by i'd love to show you the latest from marathon and also i'll be filming an episode of marathon mondays from there so i'd love to hear from you anyway be yourself and do good things thank you for watching this pre-recorded and um i'm in the airport right now as i say this in san francisco so i'm sure i'm getting coffee i'm gonna go find it <laughs>